So welcome back to part 9 of the best mods to use for Lethal Company and today's mod is going to be great for those who are looking for something fresh such as Lethal Presence as the first mod on the list. Again, I am using the minimap mod above to properly showcase this mod. So the Lethal Presence mod will allow presence in the game to have a small chance to, let's say, spawn a monster instead. These monsters could range from any of the enemies in the game which includes turrets and mines as well. This will give you and your team a slight sense of surprise and adds a little risk to the gameplay. By default, enemies have a 5% chance to spawn out of a present, but you can tweak the percentage according to your liking. You can also control which monsters are allowed and not allowed to spawn from the present box, which is pretty nice. This mod needs everyone on the server to install it to fully function. Next up on the list is a mod that makes patch version 45 so much better, and that is the Bioburst Shotgun mod. This mod allows you to purchase the shotgun through the terminal which is usually only available through the Nutcracker. Now I understand that making the shotgun purchasable might be controversial as it is a really special item that can only be obtained by those who dare to challenge the Nutcracker. Which is why if you want to get this mod, I would highly highly recommend for you to head into the config files and edit the mod itself and place it at a very very high price. Some something like 1500 credits, so it's not too cheap. And FYI, if you don't know how to edit the mod settings, just head to the edit config tab and search for your mod if you are using the thunderstorm manager, or head to the weapon next folder and head into the config file if you have installed the mod manually. So yeah, I personally love this mod as it gives me a chance to experience a shotgun whenever I want with a price. And before we move on to the next one, I would also like to recommend the Bioburst Shotgun Shells mod, so you can purchase more ammo for the shotgun. Again, by default, it is only 20 credits, so I would highly recommend for you to make it above, let's say 100, just to balance things out. These two mods are required to be installed by everyone for it to work. Now, maybe you want more customization for your character, then the more hit is perfect for you. This gives you more option to customize what's on your head, so you have more fun in messing around with your friends. Everyone in the server needs this mod for it to work, especially if you want to see each other's customization. Now, you probably realize that there are subtitles in some of my gameplay footages, and that is the subtitles mod that could be a good one for you to try out. This simply adds in subtitles and captions in the world of Leader Company, such as during a great asset song at the start, when doors open and closes, when monsters make a sound, and many more. It is not entirely useful to the general public, but it is perfect if you have trouble hearing or if you want to play on a lower volume because maybe the game is just too scary and you probably don't want to miss the action. Now again, this mod is not for everyone, but just thought that I put it out there. Now have you ever felt that the facility needs to be a little bit more haunted? Well, the Ghost Codes mod is the one for you. I don't have any gameplay for it currently, but it actually allows ghosts to send random broadcast codes to open and close doors anytime and anywhere. And yes, it even disables and enables turrets and mines randomly. This mod aims to add a little fun random element to the game and I believe that you should try it out. I have tried it out myself personally and all I can say that it adds a very haunting experience. This mod is required by everyone for it to fully function. So if you are looking for even more mods to try out, click right here as I'm sure you'll find something that you like. See you there.